It's easy to spot champ oil on the surface of your metal working fluid supply sump as it floats on the surface like an oil slick on the sea. If this layer of champ oil is allowed to build up, it may encourage the growth of bacteria in your metal working fluid. In the workplace, champ oil is the name for any visible oil, usually dark, which contaminates the metal working fluid supply system. For example, from hydraulic, slideways or gear oil. If present, this will usually be visible in machine sumps and site gauges as well as oily machine beds and guards. Why is this a bad thing? Well, tramp oil is likely to encourage the growth of bacteria. If this problem is not addressed at an early stage, a slimy layer of bacteria called biofilm may grow on the surfaces of your metal working fluid supply system. Tramp oil also affects the emulsion stability of metal working fluids, which may increase the release of mist and smoke. Now imagine the consequence of this biomass accumulating inside the lubricant supply for your cutting machine. Keep metal working fluid circulating with pumps, avoid dead ends and dead legs, and clean the system regularly to prevent stagnation of fluids. If you get tramp oil on, it can keep a lot of the uh, infectious stuff underneath it and make the coolant go off quite a lot. I've seen some sumps with a significant level of tramp oil on there, enough where it's, you can dip your finger in and it comes out dripping with oil. The worst I've seen is when two sort of layers separate and it's too much for the machine's automatic skimmer to handle. You should look for tramp oil when you carry out your daily visual inspection and check tramp oil concentration at least weekly. The amount of tramp oil in a sample can be estimated by transferring a sample of the metal working fluid into a measuring cylinder. Allow this to stand for 24 hours and the tramp oil will separate from the emulsion. The tramp oil contamination should be below 2% of the metal working fluid volume. Record the result on the fluid maintenance record chart. So, what should you do to remove excess tramp oil? Tramp oil can be removed mechanically using belt and disc skimmers, oil water coalescers or wet vacuum suction equipment. To prevent tramp oil from accumulating, act early by replacing damaged machine seals, worn oil nozzles and leaking valves. There are a number of ways to remove the tramp oil from the sump. Ideally, it's best done when the sump is switched off and the tramp oil has been allowed to separate out. You can use an industrial vacuum to vacuum the surface off. So we have automatic machine skimmers, which constantly, whenever the machine is running, constantly skim and skim and skim. They can be used almost like a dialysis and still be used while the machine's working. There's no excuse for having high tramp oil levels. So when you get rid of the tramp oil, you're really starting to get back towards what the fresh product uh, is like when it first goes into the sump. Benefits for us are fabulous. The, the company just makes sure that it's a safe working environment for us and we're happy to go on any machine really. It's important to act promptly if your tests show that tramp oil contamination of the metal working supply fluid is increasing. Keeping tramp oil at a minimum will maintain the quality of the fluid in your machine. This is always going to be much better for you and your colleagues' health and will maintain the machine in quality.